This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot here to do another 48 hour energy update for the sign of Virgo. Just keep in mind this is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is definitely going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Virgo. Okay, so let's jump into this message and see what comes true for you guys. Spirit messages for the sign of Virgo. Okay, so you're unhappy at this point in time. For some of you, you may have had to move out from your home. For some of you, you could be going through a divorce or a separation. But it is not making you happy. For some of you, you're very depressed. Could have something to do with a Sagittarius or you trying to find balance. You're trying to heal this situation. You're trying to heal this connection. You're trying to have a reconciliation. Probably with a Capricorn. But this person is no longer in a toxic energy where they are jealous or obsessed or feuding with you. But this person doesn't want a new beginning in love with you. I think you're, you're not quite certain what caused the breakup of the home. But I am feeling like this person fell out of love with you. Could be a wife, could be a significant other, take it however it resonates. But this person doesn't see um, fertility with you. They don't see it being productive. They don't see themselves going anywhere with you. They don't see it have any growth potential at this point in time. Hmm. Yeah. They are in this relationship, but it's like you can't take care of yourself. It's either you or them. And for them, they've waited long enough. They've waited for something to come into fruition. And it, it's like, it's not happening. Yeah. But it, it could be you, could be them. But there is some deep emotional romantic feelings that someone is hiding. So this person may be actually in a depressed state or is having anxiety because of this breakup. But giving you a second chance is not something they want to do at this point in time. They want an equal give and take situation, Virgo. Can you give this to this person? Because they really don't enjoy the time apart from you. But I don't think you're listening to what it is they're saying to you. Because they miss you a lot. They miss you. They cry over the things that may have happened between both of you. They, their separation is very hard on them. But they want growth. They want fertility. They want um, to move from, for example, a one-bedroom apartment to a two-bedroom apartment. And that is not happening with you for some reason. It's either... Uh, money may be an issue for you or you think that what you have is enough for this person and this person is trying to say to you through the cards no it's not enough I want more we can do more I, I want to be somebody I don't know who that is for but that is what I heard and you act like you don't care when this person is trying to voice to you how they really feel and they have been carrying around this weight on their shoulders for some time and it's pressing them down and it's suffocating them wow this is probably a direct message for someone but <clears throat> they're trying to get over this heartbreak because they feel like they have no other choice because they believe to themselves that there is something out there for them. Something more than they have with you. They may want to travel. 
they may want to have the wool at their fingertips yeah and I think this person communicated this to you it could be a Gemini Libra or Aquarius you're dealing with but this person offered you truth this person has been trying to communicate to you what they felt what it is they wanted they probably want to move from where they are to somewhere else but you are not sorry for the decision you made it's either you or them for some of you this relationship ended because this person took a job in another state or maybe another country and this ending is happening because this person chose their job over you or maybe choosing to move away from you because they want growth and you don't you want to stay right where you are and this person wants to get out there they want to live and their work is probably taking them to another country or another state and this is the reason why this separation has happened it's not that they don't love you they love you they love you a great deal but you are not willing to <laughs> you're not willing to balance this with them could be a water sign you're dealing with or a libra but they know that if they give up this one opportunity they are not sure to get another one and you aren't seeing it that way you think you have a comfortable life with them and that should be enough for them but they want more so they're being cold towards you you may be trying to offer them love to keep them and they are deciding to move on without you yeah because you're not budging in your decision and they are seeing an opportunity that they want to grab and hold on to yeah this person is definitely going to move this person is definitely going to take this job offer for those of you that it is a job offer and they are going to move but if you keep pushing them this is going to end up not so well for you they are going to say some things hurtful to you that you really don't want to hear because they want growth and you don't well that is the way they see it okay so this person may have said some really terrible things to you yes definitely they said some terrible things to you when you guys were arguing about you not having enough money or the relationship in itself not doing so well and if they take this job and move to another city or another state they would be in a better standing position hmm yeah so you see them as sneaking away from you and away from this relationship for some of you this could be a third party where somebody else fell in love with somebody else and now they're relocating to the other person's house this is going to leave you at a stalemate because you you you're not sure what it is you want to do for those of you that your significant other is relocating because of a job you're not going you are at this stalemate where you don't know if you want to let them go or hold on to them and move with them but an ending is coming. Depending on the decision that you make, Virgo, it is going to decide if this relationship ends or if it, if it has a rebirth and a regeneration. It's all up to you. You do have free will at the end of the day. You can choose which one is best for you. Yeah, you're trying. You, I think for some of you, for most of you, you're in your feelings. You're in your feelings quite a bit. And you want to be this person's Romeo. You want to rush into them and give them love. And huh. for some of you, you're going to choose to move with this person. But others of you, you're going to let this relationship die because of ego. And you are going to move on from it. 
Yeah. Because you think this person doesn't care enough to stay and you don't care enough to leave. And you think this person is being self-serving. For some of you, you're willing to work on this change and actually move with this person. But for others of you, you're not going to budge. You're going to let this relationship die. Yeah. Because you're going to want to take action. For some of you, you're definitely taking action and moving with this person. For others of you, you are going to turn into this player energy where you're just going to hook up with random people to try to get over this person. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're going to try to get over this heartache by sleeping with random people. Yeah. Okay, this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.